Well, my early childhood, uh, trucking was a big part. One of my earliest memories of riding in a truck was my Uncle Dan was at our house to load cattle. My dad said, do you want to ride with him to Grand Island today? And I was like, you know, this is the coolest thing ever. My dad, he knew that I didn't love cattle as much as I loved trucking. And so he played a big role in helping me uh, finance and buy my first truck. My first truck was a 377 uh, Peterbilt. In 2007, my dad would be diagnosed with a very aggressive form of lung cancer. Was just really blessed to have a father that would uh, support me in what I did and my love for Peterbilts. I really miss my dad every day. My aunt said, there's this, uh, this girl I want you to meet and uh, give her a call. So I called her one night and we talked on the phone for about an hour and decided to go on our first date. And one night I was gonna be going through Lincoln on my way to Omaha with a load of cattle. And I called her and I said, can you meet me? I'd, if you would like to, I'd like to have you ride with me in my truck. We rode in that truck to Montana and picked up cattle and um, had a lot of just getting to know each other riding down the highway in the truck. Our marriage has just been a joy and, and my wife is very understanding and supports me a lot in my love for Peterbilt. I kind of had a rough day. I was getting home late. When Melissa called, she said that I've been picked as one of the super fan finalists and my heart jumped into my throat. When he told me, I, I think I was like, are you joking? Like, you better be serious because don't lie to me about this, you know. I was just shaking and I was kind of speechless almost. It was like, thank you, this is an incredible honor. I don't like to brag about myself. I kind of like to let the trucks I drive and the work that I do, do the talking for me. I am a Peterbilt super fan.